Do you know, why don't fighters go after the AWACS before entering a dogfight? Fighters typically avoid targeting AWACS, airborne warning and control system, aircraft before engaging in dogfights for several strategic and practical reasons. Firstly, AWACS aircraft, such as the E-3 Sentry, are designed to provide comprehensive situational awareness by tracking both friendly and hostile forces over a vast area. With radar capabilities that can detect threats from long distances, often up to 250 miles, AWACS are able to position themselves safely away from immediate threats while still performing their critical surveillance mission. This long-range detection ability gives AWACS a significant edge, making it difficult for enemy fighters to approach them undetected. Another reason is that AWACS are typically heavily guarded by fighter escorts. These escorts are specifically assigned to protect the AWACS, ensuring that any enemy fighters attempting to target the AWACS would face an immediate and overwhelming response. The escorts operate in close proximity to the AWACS, making it highly risky for enemy fighters to focus on targeting the AWACS while also defending themselves against the protective fighter screen. This layered defense structure ensures that AWACS can maintain its operations while minimizing the risk of direct attack. Operational range and refueling capabilities also play a crucial role. AWACS aircraft can operate at significant distances from the conflict zone, often beyond the reach of enemy fighters without aerial refueling. Enemy fighters would need to extend their range significantly to engage AWACS, exposing themselves to a higher risk of detection and interception. Attempting to strike at a distant AWACS could leave enemy fighters without enough fuel to return or defend themselves effectively. This logistical challenge adds another layer of deterrence against attacking AWACS. In combat scenarios, fighters prioritize immediate threats. During a dogfight, the focus is on engaging the enemy fighters that are directly opposing them in the air. Dogfights require intense concentration and precise maneuvering, leaving little room to divert attention to a distant AWACS that is well out of range and protected by escorts. Additionally, while AWACS is vital for command and control, it does not pose the immediate physical threat that enemy fighters do in the heat of close aerial combat. Lastly, the technological superiority of AWACS systems cannot be ignored. The radar and communication systems aboard an AWACS are far more advanced than those on most fighter jets, providing AWACS with a greater situational awareness. AWACS can coordinate responses to threats long before they become imminent. The combination of radar coverage, communications capabilities, and overall battlefield awareness allows AWACS to effectively coordinate friendly forces while remaining at a safe distance. The protective fighter escorts and superior radar make it very difficult for enemy fighters to get close enough to pose a real threat. The strategic positioning, protective measures, operational range, and technological superiority of AWACS aircraft make them difficult and risky targets for enemy fighters. As a result, enemy pilots typically avoid attempting to engage AWACS before entering a dogfight, focusing instead on immediate threats within the combat zone.